The ZT Quartz smartwatch's brushed metal case measures 1.8 inches in diameter, but that doesn't include the lugs, the part of the case that connects to the watch band. Including that area, the quartz measures 2.1 inches, which exceeded my wrist's width. The sporty black and blue band was bulky as well, suggesting that it was built for men, or women with larger than average wrists. However, I liked the band's ridges, which prevented it from sticking to my wrist while I was working out, a problem I find especially annoying with smoother wristbands. The ZTE Quartz watch is a hefty 0.57 inches thick and weighs 3.14 ounces, versus the LG watch style, which is 0.43 inches thick and weighs 1.6 ounces. To be fair, the Quartz has a GPS receiver a SIM card and a larger, 500mAh battery, the LG watch style has neither of those features and comes with a smaller, 240mAh battery. The ZTE Quartz's display is also larger, at 1.4 inches, versus 1.2 inches for the LG watch style. To navigate through your watch options, you'll tap and swipe the 400x400 400 400 resolution. 1.4-inch mold screen and press the button located on the right side at the 2 o'clock mark. As a lefty wearing the watch on my right hand, I found it annoying to have to reach around the screen to get to the button. What's more, you can't navigate through your options using an Apple Watch-style rotating digital crown, which you will get on the new LG watches. The ZTE Quartz's screen isn't as sensitive as the one on the LG style so an accidental brush of the screen won't change your watch face as easily. As with all Android Wear 2.0 devices, an always-on display option keeps the time showing on the Quartz's watch face. I found the display too bright at bedtime, even though the screen was darkened.